Whoever said that selling is a profession was really, really wrong. And I want to take you to take this to the bank. It's not profession. Selling is a technique. And that is exactly what I want to tell you today. Selling is not a profession. Selling is a technique. You need to have a specific technique for you to be able to sell and make money. Don't wake up every morning, every evening, age to five you're hustling but there's nothing that you're doing selling is a technique my friend this is what i'll be telling you today and for sure if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe down there there is a subscription button and there is also um, a notification button that you can press so that you don't miss any video like this one we have crazy ton of videos that can educate you when it comes to business so point number one even before I go to point number one, have I even told you exactly why I'm doing this video? This is the reason that I'm doing this video. I have a bunch of friends who have been hustling so much hard. I have a friends, friends of mine who have been telling me, Keith, can you do a video which exactly tells entrepreneurs how they can use the skills that they have, that the techniques that they learn in different platforms and put them in their business and to see their business flourishing. That's the exact reason why I decided to do this video. And I want to explain to you point number one, always transfer emotions. People buy emotions. People don't buy products. They buy emotions. The emotion that you're going to give to a customer is the one which is going to make them buy. The time that you tell a customer, this product is the best, like ABCD, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've, I've been through this doctor and this doctor, but I settled on this doctor because this is a doctor who has made me feel good when I'm coming out from there, from the hospital, he's the one who diagnosed me well, or this lawyer is the best, or uh, uh, this person who sells TV, TVs, he is never a liar. The emotion that you're giving to your client is the one they buy, they don't buy they don't buy the product, they just buy your emotion. So watch out exactly how you're telling your customers. That emotion is exactly what they are going to buy. If you're selling uh, pillows, you're selling the shoes, you're selling what? The way you're explaining, you see this suit, when you wear that suit, how you're going to feel, you're going to, people are going to see you this way, people are going to even glare at you, they're going to stare at you, you're going to be the talk of the town. That emotion is exactly what people are buying. Don't be lied by anyone, anything else. Point number two, improve your communication techniques. If you want to sell very well, improve your communication techniques. If you cannot express yourself, nobody's going to believe you. Have you ever seen people who speak as if they're, uh, it's, it's like they're afraid of something. It's like they're thinking other people are, are listening to them and because they are saying lies they'll be like you can buy this one it's working have you seen the street boys when they're selling mobile phones in town yeah you you i have a samsung phone here please buy quickly buy quick. you know that kind of no confidence they have no communication skills what if this guy was still a thug and he stands and says hey i have a mobile phone that i'm selling i'm not picking any other price because i know the worth of this mobile phone even if it was from stealing Everybody will believe him because of how he is communicating. But someone who is not com confident about communicating, he can never convince someone. He can never become a great entrepreneur. Point number three: spread a good, uh, spend a good amount of time listening to your customers, not just selling. Offer value. Everybody wants to have value. When I go to sell my products, sometimes I, I usually have some books that I, I supply in uh, schools and other places. And the moment I'm going to sell uh, books to principals or to sell to students or whoever I'm, I'm selling to, sometimes I go and find maybe the teacher or someone that I'm selling the books to and they are in a low mood. There's a day I found a certain lady, she's, she's in a bad mood, she's like, you know, in a worry kind of a thing and then instead of me just going and straight hey i'm selling this book it will help you in this and this or i'm selling this product i'm selling this kind of thing first i give them value i listen to them hey what's the matter what's happening you know my son was involved in this he was uh, he was caught by the police taking drugs and i wonder what's wrong with my son and then i'm there con con 
consoling with him or her, telling them, don't worry, these kids are like this. Try this and this method. If you do this, this one can change. Give them value before you even give. And that person that you've given value to, you've listened to them, you've taken time and attention to listen to this person and to listen to their woes and their problem, they are going to find a way to reciprocate the same. They are going to reciprocate the same and want to give you even much more value and attention in the product that you're selling. Another good example, if you have a birthday and you know your birthday is coming uh, in three months time and you know you have a friend or uh, you have a relative who is rich and you know he or she can buy you a better expensive kind of a, a, a gift. What are you going to do so that you get that gift? This person, even if you tell them my birthday is in three months, please prepare, buy me a car, buy me a motorbike, buy me a TV. This is going to listen and ask themselves, why should I be buying this person? But if you give them value in a, priv in a prior time before your birthday, they're going to do something. This is how you give value. Let's say their birthday is next month and yours is in three months time and then in their birthday you go maybe it's your uncle and then you go and uh, buy him a very nice suit and give him and tell him hey uncle happy birthday i got your suit i hope this one will fit uh, on you very well or i got your watch i'm so much excited today is your birthday and i just did everything i could just to buy you this suit to buy you this shoe to buy you this thing that you love so much even if you've just shown a little effort what is going to happen? The time of your birthday will come and they will feel intimidated and pushed to reciprocate the same to you. They will see, this guy bought me a watch. This person bought me a, a shoe. They bought me a suit. They bought me this. So since I have more money, let me do it bigger and better. Let me reciprocate the same to them. They'll end up buying your big TV, buying your a car, buying your whatever, buy, trying as much as they can to outshadow what you did to them. Value, giving value is very important when you want to win customers, when, to want, when you want to win people. Give value, value, value. Spend a good time listening to your customers. Ask them, what do you want? How do you want us to improve? How do you want us to do things? How do you want us this and that? Is there somewhere you're facing problems? And when you give them value, they will reciprocate the same by giving you whatever you need. Point number four, commit yourself to lifelong learning. Many people only read until form four or until college, university, and that's it. I, I used to say when you were in high school, after Form 4, we, we burnt all this, uh, the books. We used to say that is the academic fire. We burnt all the books and, oh, teacher so-and-so, I'll never do this. It's, it's, um, it's normal, but education never ends from the class. Every day you should be in the learning process. You can never be a good entrepreneur if you're not learning. You should be learning how do other people do. For me to become a YouTuber, I try as much as possible to watch so many other people who are doing, who are, who are, are having their own channels on entrepreneurship, on travel, on business, on, on, on uh, social media marketing, on the field that I am. Because I want to better myself. How do they do their videos? How do they do this? How do they do that? What do they speak? What are the most convenient areas to speak about? What are the most challenging areas? How do they approach certain topic? How do they? Every day is a learning process. And if you say that you're not learning, then you're not an entrepreneur. You're just any other guy who is doing a deal and that's it. If you want to become an entrepreneur, every day is a learning process. Read a book, watch a YouTube video. Every day I'm posting videos and videos and videos. Go and watch them. Even if you're not watching me, go and watch other people who are doing other good videos. R learn something. Google is there. Facebook is there. Learn something. You can follow different pages whereby you can learn and learn and learn. Learning is a process, my guys. Point number five, let the flowers blossom. When I talk about flowers blossoming, people might wonder exactly, Keith, what are you talking about? But when I say let the flowers blossom is let your customers criticize you. Give them a free way to criticize you, to talk everything about your company. Uh, I think it's Bill Gates. Bill Gates once said that your most unhappy customers are the best learning are the best team which can make you learn a lot. I, I don't know the exact phrase, uh, the way it was put, uh, but the most un uh, unhappy customers, 
make make you to understand what exactly what have I been doing wrong? What do I need to adjust here? What do I need to adjust there? Why was this person unhappy? Why was this person behaving this way? Let the flowers blossom. Let the flowers blossom. Let things just flourish in their own way. Don't try and make customers, please, move on this way. Move on this way. You will never learn. Don't command people. This is what I have. You have to buy this. You have to do this. Let other people criticize you. Let them show out the mistakes in you so that when they are showing out the mistakes in you, don't repel. Don't keep on arguing and say, no, these are not my mistakes. I don't want them. No, they are your mistakes. Absorb them, agree on them, and see how can I be able to change the mistakes to become, uh, uh, to, to and better myself. My friends and the guys that we work with, they're always telling me, Keith, sometimes um, in your videos, there are some videos that you do and then you, you, you maybe you do a mistake here, you do a mistake there, and then you don't want us to edit it. I don't care about editing the video. I want people to see even the mistakes. Let's grow together. Let's grow together. See where I'm coming from and where I am going. See the mistakes I've been making when I'm doing this YouTube channel, uh, this YouTube videos. See, this is the place that used to make mistakes. This is where he did. This is how he improved. Even themselves, they're also improving. My viewers, you're also improving in different ways. You see, if Keith came from here, now he's here and he's heading there, for sure I can make it. But imagine one day I'm just like all of a sudden, pop, 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 a guy pops from nowhere. He's like all perfect. Everybody's going to fear you. They're going to wonder, who is this guy who's just come all perfect, everything? And they're going to be like, no, this is not my... That's how it happens. Grow with people. Let people criticize you. Let people speak anything they have to do about you. Because entrepreneurship is all about growing. Changing your mentality and making yourself go. Go from one point to another. Slowly by slowly. Number six. Allow others to test drive your product. There are people who come out with the product. They don't want even anyone to have a test of it. If you have made um, uh, a nice, maybe application, a mobile app, you're a developer. You've created a, a, an app and then you put it on Apple Store or, uh, or, or on Android uh, Store, whichever, I, I don't know. Wherever you put your, wherever you're selling or whichever style, have a way for people to test your product. Let them see, is it working or is not working? Let them criticize a little bit. Let them have a test of something. Even if you cook, even when you cook a cake, you always test a little bit. When you cook your food in the house, you test to see, is there some uh, salt? Is there, is, is the spices enough? You know, you just don't cook and then you put it on the table. You don't need the salt is enough or this. You put a little, point of other people testing even yourself you test a little bit to see is it workable and from the way you're going to see it you're going to see do i need to improve something do i need to change something maybe one unhappy customer will tell you i didn't like this app because of this and this and that it's crashing so much there's this and this and which is happening please kind kindly change but imagine if that customer Instead of letting them test for the first time, you just sold to them. I've sold to you this app at 2,000 Kenya shillings and all of a sudden it's crashing. That customer will never come back. But when they have tested, they have seen the mistake, they have corrected you, you have corrected it, they will see we are growing together. And what they are going to do is they will trust you even much more because they see this person is open-minded. He's an open-minded entrepreneur and he can do anything to make sure that we are happy. Number seven. Find experts, find experts to talk about your product <clears throat> so that they can convince people using the power of reputation. When I talk about the power of reputation, what do I mean? If today I told you two plus two is equals five, you will tell me, Keith, stop the lies. Two plus two we know is four, period. But if tomorrow I come again and they tell you, you know what guys, two plus two is five you'll think like, this guy, I think something is wrong. Then the other day I hire uh, Patrice Lumumba, a VLO Lumumba, very educated guy. He goes there and says, guys, uh, two plus two is, there's a way we, we have come to understand that can be five. And the other day I hire a very nice lawyer, I hire a very nice politician, a TV presenter, Jeff Koinange, who they are all talking about the same thing. Two plus two is five, two plus two is five. At the end of the day, you start believing. You will start saying, maybe there is a way two plus two can be five. 
because so and so has spoken about it this one has spoken about it this one has spoken about it and i think it, it may be true why the power of reputation reputation is very powerful if you want to become a very expert entrepreneur let other people speak positive about your job you can hire guys to speak about the same thing why do you have influencers why do you have people speaking about a certain product so much we see it on tv we see it on youtube we see every everywhere a new mobile as a a uh, mobile phone has just come out and everybody's talking about it. Repetition, repetition is very powerful. If you want to have a good sales technique, find people, build a team which will speak over and over and over about the same thing. Don't fear to spend because you can never make money without using money. Number eight, do not try to sell something that you will not buy yourself. I tell people, if yourself you can't buy, your own product why would i buy your product if the product that you're selling yourself you cannot buy how do you expect other people to buy your product you have to convince yourself that this product is so good that you just say wow if i was not the seller of this product i could have bought it this shoe is just so awesome as i'm convincing other people i just wish it was mine and i just wait that passion the emotion you remember the emotion i talked on the on the first point that is the emotion you should be having because you already like the product sell a product that yourself you can buy even two times more and that way you will give the right emotion and that emotion will make the other person buy because something that you're selling just to get the money it will never grow it will never work look at the biggest multinational companies they have a passion they have grown over and over warren buffett he had this vision over and over again of selling his uh, 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 of selling his product. Look at Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon. If it was just all about the money, he could have already made the right money and just relaxed with Amazon. But he had a vision, something that he's seeing and he has a lot of compassion about. And that's why he's still there, the richest man in the world. He has done it over and over again and he's still there because he feels I can do it over and over and over because I have the passion. And that's why they are still there and they're still making more money. Number nine, use social media to create attention. If nobody knows you, no business. Nobody knows you, no business. Why would people be crying every day and asking and saying the government is not giving us money. We, are, we don't have a place to sell. Customers are not buying from us. We don't have this, we don't have that. And people don't know you. You're a tailor, you usually make African wear. And you're complaining so much. Oh, people are not buying my, my clothes. People are not buying this. People are not, uh, the government is bad. The bad. Of course, everywhere in the world, people are complaining. All governments are bad. But the thing that you need to do is you have to take yourself out there. We have social media. Social media is the next gold. You have to put your product there. You, one of my friends, he sells, uh, he, he has uh, those uh, beauty products like those uh, beads and uh, drawings and things like that. And he always told, tells me that the moment I post them on social media, it's like bushfire, wildfire. But when I'm trying to sell them direct to people, it's a bit hard. But when I post them in social media, some of them even go viral. And I end up getting offers and offers and offers. Why? Because people are out there. Facebook has almost 3 billion people, 3 billion customers. Those are people who are not biased. They don't care how you look, if you're crippled or not, if you have one eye or you have two eyes, if you don't have teeth or you have teeth, if you, your orientation, they don't care about anything. All they care is a good product. Take yourself out there. Spend money to make money. Place advertisements on Facebook, on Instagram, on uh, YouTube or wherever. Let people see your product and they will buy from you. And the last point is, understand that everything around you revolves around selling. Everything around you revolves around selling. Don't lose an opportunity. When people come to me, sometimes they get phone calls. Keith, uh, by the way, uh, uh, let, let me ask you, do you sell shoes? I'm looking for a certain shoe, shoe number nine, and I can't find it anywhere. D d do you know someone who sells shoes? I'm always like, yes, I sell shoes. Even if I don't sell shoes, I never lose an opportunity because whatever you can't do, there's always someone else who can do it.
And immediately I'll tell that uh, point, uh, friend of mine who has just called me, hold on, I sell shoes, which shoe do you want? Adidas, eh? Number nine, hold on, let me call at the store, let me see if we have that shoe. I call, hey, Jemo, do you, do you, do you, do you know somebody who sells shoes? Hey, I know, there's a guy called Peter, send me his number. Hello Peter, I've been given your number by Jemo. I'm looking for a shoe, Adidas number 9. Can you get it? Yes. How much? 3,000 Kenya shillings. Okay, fine. Um, uh, 3,000 is your money? Nothing? Any other money on top? The markup is mine. Okay, fine. I call this other guy. Uh, I found your shoe. Uh, in the store, we have it at 5,000 shillings. Eh? Ah, please, there's a lot of money. Okay, I do you 4 or 5. I already have 1,500. I connect this guy and this guy. I Business is done. Never lose an opportunity. Never lose an opportunity. Whatever you cannot be able to do, somebody else can be able to do it for you. Business is everywhere. We are surrounded by business. Everything around you is business. We are complaining that Africa, there is no money. There is no money. There are not opportunities. Let me tell you, Africa is the next the next big thing why the more the problems we have in africa the more the opportunities in europe everything is already done in europe everything is complete internet is there the roads are good the buildings are fine the infrastructure is okay there is no loophole for making money how are you going to make money and everything is perfect people are rushing to go to europe to do what africa is the next big thing here there's a bad road down there. Instead of complaining and, and fighting with the police and doing all that, go to the chief or go to whichever and say, I have 10 boys who, friends of mine, we can put uh, some stones on the, on the portals and then you give us a small amount of money. Business done. There's no internet. Find a way. Go and put in internet in your house and supply to other homesteads. That is an opportunity. There's no this, there's no water. Find a way that you can fetch water for your for your people in your in your in your home area and make a business, make business from that. So business is everywhere, left, right, and center. Actually, the places with the more problems, those are the places with the most kind of business. Thank you very much, guys. I'm sure this one has really been an eye-opener to you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss a video like this. And if you're watching us from Facebook, you're watching us from Instagram, kindly just share, comment, leave a like, give a thumbs up, everything that you can be able to do. Give us your comment and even tell us which other video might you want us to speak about because I'm sure these are years that we can change your mentality and we can make it much more bigger and make you bigger even much more. Thank you very much. My name is Keith. God bless you.